It's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a two-page layout, trying something new and different. So I've had this idea, and so I decided to go for it. I picked out four colors that went with the papers that I'm going to be using, and just did a strip across the page using the Distress Oxide pad. I then added some water to try to make it kind of more distressed I guess almost I didn't add a lot of it I didn't want it running but I did want kind of that water mark to it I guess you can say so I have just a kit of kind of outdoorsy papers collections and some of them I have scraps and some I have whole pieces of paper and this paper here the banners here I just thought were perfect and matched the colors of the distress oxides that I used like perfectly so what I did is I fussy cut out four of those banners to match the colors on this paper here my two background papers are going to be those two brown papers there and what I'm going to do is I am going to use this as kind of my not a filler um I don't know how, what to say, but kind of the connecting piece, I guess, for the two pages. Uh, so I trimmed that down and I'm going to end up cutting that in half, but I am going to use this paper as well to kind of border the two ends. Uh, this was a piece of scrap, so you can see that I did trim it down just a little bit and then cut it in half and put that on the two ends. And then the Distress Oxide paper is going to go in the middle. I absolutely love that I could fussy cut these kind of banners and they match the colors perfectly so I'm kind of gonna go with this look here and cut it down the middle I believe I think I did it six and six if I remember correctly so once I get this down um, I'm going to tape down the banners as well I am still trying to work through all my outdoor photos and really try to kind of push myself in using m different collections, different papers. Um, a lot of the photos are similar. And if you've been following for a while, you know that I scrapbook separately for each of my boys. Um, so a lot of these photos are pretty close to identical for each of them. And so I really, it is kind of a challenge sometimes to scrapbook and make them different, I guess. Um, and so that's why I kind of chose these papers this time and kind of changed up, tried to tried something new, I guess, with this. Um, initially, I thought I wanted kind of a ombre look almost. Um, I do have a lighter brown and I thought I could get into some greens, uh, but really like the brightness of that red and the yellow as well. Because the banners are triangle, I thought it was perfect. I had a kind of a zigzag or a, it's not really a scallop, um, but a punch. And so I ended up adding that um, to that green paper and bring in some more solid colors, I guess, because the layout is quite busy. I do have three photos, I believe, that I am scrapbooking. I didn't want to fully cover up that middle part because it's different um, than anything that I'm really used to. And so I kind of had to get a little creative uh, with the placement of the photos and the placement of the embellishment clusters. So I, as you can see, I backed all the photos and then I wanted to double back them. Again, just something that I am really into lately. I just feel like it kind of helps the photos pop a little bit. So I found that perfect kind of orangish yellowish with the red and just match the colors again of the layout perfectly so i decided to double back all three of the photos and place those kind of how you see them there with this little kit i guess um it just happens to be in the same kind of envelope um it's not anything i really put together but i have quite a few sticker sheets and ephemera packs and so it really I had lots of options for my embellishing. And so I decided, I 
think this is a layout that I actually have quite a few um, phrases, phrase stickers all around the page. There's not really one bold title. Uh, I kind of just use the stickers. Uh, and I think there's quite a few that have phrases in them. So you can see I use that outdoor adventure that's a sticker. And then I added that little tree stump and some leaves. And I think that's just going to be it for that um, cluster there. But here's all of the different stickers that I have. Um, and so I'm, I actually end up actually completely changing that bottom right cluster, if I'm going to be completely honest. I do like how it is, but I found a really cute boat um and so i decided to change that uh and add that to the bottom right so again i just have so many stickers chipboard pieces and i just loved i felt like a lot of them help or a lot of them went with these photos so here's that little cute boat with a raccoon and i just thought that was adorable and wanted to use that instead of the chipboard kind of canoe and here I am just kind of going through this ephemera pack again, just embellishing as I go through it. It has really worked for me recently. It just is an easy way to kind of piece things together as I go. And I don't know, I'm enjoying it. It doesn't, I don't always do that, but it is something I've found that when I go through an ephemera pack that instead of setting them aside, if I kind of have an idea where they're gonna go on the layout, uh, it helps a lot. So I'm just gonna tape down all of these different clusters that I have started. And I think the layout is just about finished after that. I might add some enamel dots, I think, after I get everything glued down. And that bottom left cluster, I think I add something else down there as well. But really, aside from the, like the, not that the Distress Oxide was hard either, but it's just a little bit different um, than what I'm used to. Besides that, it's really a simple layout. And so here I have this other ephemera pack. So just looking through that as well, you can see I added a little heart that says fun to that bottom left cluster. But that is going to be it besides some enamel dots and I haven't actually been using them as much as I used to, but I still love how they kind of finish off a layout. And I had a pack here that was just the perfect colors um, for the layout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and enjoyed kind of me trying something new, I guess. And we will see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>